So, I wanted to do this video um, to address something that was said yesterday on a comment under, I can't remember the video, it was uh, two videos back. And to be honest, the sister, I don't think that she was being too disrespectful because I know how people can be disrespectful on YouTube. I know how people can be disrespectful in life, period. And me being on YouTube almost four years now, I'm kind of um, a veteran at that and understanding that. And it is what it is. Um, I'm doing this video not because she did something to me that was horrible and I just was like so upset that I had to do this video and to respond to her because I did respond to her. In fact, a couple of my sugar lumps responded to her as well after I did. And um, to sum up what she was saying was that, um, that she doesn't like that I'm cocky that I um, think I'm all that in a bag of chips and um, that she doesn't like that attitude and it's an ugly attribute okay first and foremost let me ask this question before we even go any further do you think that smaller women you know what society says is is beautiful what society says is average, what society says is perfection. Do you think those individuals hear that comment ever? And if they do hear that comment, how often do they actually hear that comment? I can bet all the money that I have in the bank that those women don't hear as much as confident, sexy, beautiful, plus size women. My answer to her and to anyone that may be thinking the same thing, because see, again, I know how YouTube works and I know how people work and I also know how women work. And we can tear each other down something terrible. We don't have to worry about others tearing us down because we do a perfect job of it just all by ourselves. And I want this place to be a place where we can discuss, we can be grown women about things. I want this place to not be a place that you know, um, creates or encourages um, making other people have self-esteem issues, um, making other people have insecurities, not praising people for who they are and where they are today in life. And I can't do that and I can't be a front leader and that on my channel with my head down. I can't lift another sister up if I've not already risen myself. It's not cockiness that you guys see. What it is is a woman who celebrates herself for who she is today. Not who she'll be tomorrow. Not who she'll be once she loses more weight. Not who she'll be once she gets her tummy fixed. Not who will she be once I get these breasts lift. Not who she'll be after she gets a manicure or a pedicure. Not who she'll be after she buy the latest expensive wig. Not who she'll be after she put on her makeup. But I celebrate who I am today with or without those things. That's what you say. You see a woman who's not going to put her head down. For what? I'm beautiful. Inside and out. And yes, I said inside and out. And the sad part is, sister, or sisters, you don't think the same. Now see, cockiness is a perception. I can't change your perception. 
you know, one person can say it's confidence. One person can say it's cockiness. One person can say it's vanity. The reality is, it is what it is. And like I said, I can't show another sister that, you know what, society may say something's wrong with you, but guess what? You got it together, girl. Society may say your stomach big, but girl, look at them hips. Society may say your butt too big, but girl, your face is flawless, honey. It's always something that is beautiful about you. And the problem with us is we allow others to beat us down so much, whether it's your men, whether it's fellow women, whether it's people that when you were growing up, in your own home that didn't instill self-esteem in you. See, we listen to those people far too much. And then when you come across someone like myself, it's so foreign to you. It's sad that it's foreign to see a 300-pound woman shaking her head, twisting her neck, and telling you, yes, she is all that in a bag of chips. That's foreign to you. That's foreign to society. We have to wonder or question why that is. Why is that foreign? The women out there that have the perfect body, I always see their head held high. I always see them twirling their neck and shaking their head and saying, yes, I am all that. I see this every day, all day. That's what's drilled into our heads. That's what's portrayed and paraded all around TV. That's what our young girls are seeing every day. That's what they see. That's the norm. So much so that when you see me or people like me, beautiful plus size women that maybe knows how to accentuate her curves or she knows how to dress she knows how to you know apply her makeup she knows how to um, wear hair that frames her face she knows what colors work for her she knows you know her body shape and uh, and finds outfits that work with her body shape and her body type when you see women like that, that's odd. That's strange. That's how dare she. No. How dare you, society? How dare you to not say that this is beautiful too? That you are beautiful too? How dare you tell me that my skin complexion is not beautiful? From the darkest of mahogany, from, from the darkest of mahogany to the fairest, the fairest of skin. How dare you tell me that any of these things aren't beautiful? How dare you tell me that my nose is not beautiful? How dare you tell me that maybe my nose is too broad? How dare you tell me that my eyes are too big? I happen to think they're beautiful. So, I'm doing this video, not because I'm reading you, sister, or not because I'm reading anyone. I'm doing this video to let you guys know, just in case you question, why I am the way I am. And why does she display herself the way she do? Why does she carry herself in such a way? Who does she think she is? And my answer to all of that is I'm Kiana superwoman in training so all the rest of y'all that understand where I'm coming from and all the rest of y'all who aren't afraid to be bold and fearless in the skin that you in today all I gotta say is go grab your capes and come with me on that note, you guys, I love you all so much for who you are.
today and tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Share this video because I think it's important and it needs to be said. I think it's need to be said. Talk to you guys later and be blessed.